Welcome, folks. I am Jabby Kawai, joined by Achara Kirk. What's up? We're looking at Andrew Garfield Reed's Thirst Tweets. Ooh, I can't wait. From BuzzFeed Celeb. I swear this looks just like this, the same exact outfit when he was you know, like, I'm not the bear. Is, he was probably doing press for a whole bunch of stuff. I'm not the bear. I'm okay. not the bear. Here we go. Here we are. I am Andrew Garfield, and I am here with BuzzFeed. Not sure who I am. I am going to be reading your Thirst Tweets. Oh, God. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I love thirst tweets with celebrities. Andrew Garfield is a precious bean. <laughs> Protect him. Thanks, Dad. I love you too. Aww. That's sweet. See, you were starting soft. Can we talk about how gorgeous Andrew Garfield is for a sec? Like, that man is f***ing beautiful. I'd let him eat crap. <laughs> <laughs> That's joke. so random. I mean, the first part is just, like, incredibly flattering and... Um, as misguided as it is. And then the crackers in bed thing is, I guess, because crackers are messy. Okay, so. <laughs> Who would you let eat crackers in bed, Jabby Koe? Because you won't even let me eat crackers on the couch. This just reminded me of a weird experience I had a long time ago where I was shooting at an ex-girlfriend's house. And at this, at this point, she was already an ex. And I okay. asked her, can I shoot at your house? Because she has a beautiful home. Mm-hmm. And she was a proper grown-up. I was still <laughs> chuckles, you know? <laughs> and I was shooting a short film for a 48-hour film festival. And this girl, who I actually was sort of into and dating from time to time, uh-huh. was playing my wife in the in the piece. Uh-huh. And, um, for, for, you know, with the 48-hour film festivals, this is completely derailing the video. But anyway, in the 48-hour film festivals, they give you these things you have to abide by. And one of them was potatoes. Like you have to include the word potatoes somewhere in this film. Yeah. Um, and we're like, okay, so she's making potatoes in the morning. That's what she's doing. She's bringing me potatoes in bed. And so she brings me <laughs> potatoes. She says, potatoes. And she literally says it like that. And she tries to feed it to me and the crumbs get all over the bed. What and type she, of potatoes were you eating? I don't that know. Had so many crumbs. It was big potatoes. I don't know. Okay. But she pulls me aside. She goes, Jabby, you're pretty OCD. There's potato crumbs all over my fucking bed. (laughs) (laughs) It's making me a little crazy. (laughs) Thank you so much. It's very, very kind. I wouldn't let myself eat crackers in bed because I slightly OCD when it comes to cleanliness in bed. Oh, I'm going to move on. Andrew Garfield, (laughs) if you see this on your secret Twitter account, I'm free this weekend if you want to get lunch or drinks or something and just let me know. If you want to do it earlier, I can do dinner during the week. (laughs) I love this. I I love this. That's very, very... Specific. I like hypervigilance. I like specificity of plans. I I wouldn't know where to find you, but I am free this weekend. I can't believe Andrew Garfield (laughs) invented being sexy. (laughs) These are all very nice. I find it hard to believe to (laughs) the point of knowing that it's not true. Who was it that invented being sexy? Like, when was sexy invented? Just in terms of I guess consciously. It would have to be a human, although I'm sure before humans existed in the cosmos and on Earth, there were were, were forms of life that... Did anyone else think about my octopus teacher being a little, like, oddly sexy? Not sexy, but like... (laughs) <laughs> I noticed like on, online there were people that were like I love that film by the way and I didn't find it sexy it was someone else that thought that there was some... I just read one thing online something sexy happening between the octopus and um, the man oh god <laughs> he is very um Cerebral. Very cerebral and yeah. ner- a Existen- bit neurotic. Yeah, existential. Existential, yeah. That's all right. I could be friends. And I, I feel like that person who wrote that tweet, I'm like, yeah, that perfectly encapsulates how I feel. I'd be like, hey, Andrew Garfield, do you want to grab some drinks or something? Like, we could chat. We could hang out. Like, let's have dinner. Like, yeah, yeah. okay. I love it. That's it's, it's just fascinating because people only have a very, very cursory understanding as to who he is as a person. And then right there, you got a glimpse as to the yeah. real Andrew Garfield. It's like, that's the guy that you're, you're signing up to. That's all right, because then he could do most of the talking and you could just listen. Do you know what I mean? Interject every now and then just to keep the conversation right. going. Why do I agree to this? I can't believe I lived through shave Andrew Garfield, what? long hair Andrew Garfield, oh. mustache Andrew Garfield, and now blonde Andrew Garfield. He really gave it all to us. <sighs> this is tricky because the ego is is such a... A delicate thing and I I'm a Leo man and it's very very hard for me like not you. to flattery is the way <laughs> into my heart I'm trying to take these and and just kind of bow so that the compliments kind of fly over my head yeah. you know, that was the original um, impetus behind the inventing 
bowing when at, after a performance or whatever. It was actually to let the applause fly over your head so oh, you I didn't, didn't know get that. inflated. I kind of okay. dig that. So this is like a real test for me to not get egotistical. Even mustache Andrew Garfield. That was a dark time for everyone. <laughs> Andrew Garfield is literally the daddy of all daddies. If I'm literally the daddy of all daddies, it means I'm some form of Grandpa. father god, which oh. I'm very, very uncomfortable with. Oh. And even my ego can't handle that. But you know what? For the next five minutes, I will accept being the daddy of all daddies. Whatever that means. Genghis Khan. Andrew Garfield is thick. <laughs> <laughs> what? Two of the best things to be. If I am in <laughs> fact thick, my God, that's the dream. Because when I was a kid, I was the op I was a streak of piss, as you might say. So any <laughs> thickness or anyone that claiming thing? I've never heard that. Have thickness. I appreciate and wokeness too. Swag is an acronym for sex with Andrew Garfield. <laughs> I've been trying to tell you all. Andrew Garfield is like a fine mixture of sexy and cute and seductive like shit, bro. Bro, this is actually becoming too much because I, this is gonna make me self-reflect in a way that I don't want to. But listen, if that's how you feel, bro, I'm not gonna try and correct you. If blonde Andrew Garfield ever kills me, see, I knew it was gonna get violent. <laughs> <laughs> get violent. It always gets violent. If blonde Andrew Garfield ever kills me, do not prosecute him because he caught me slipping. That is on me. Oh, man, it's tricky. Do prosecute me if I ever kill this person because um, I love justice. I wish Andrew Garfield would whisper, you better lawyer up. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> about that movie, my love for Jesse Eisenberg and the relationship that we created for that film meant that I wanted that line to hurt him more than if I shouted it. I wanted it to be lodged in his f***ing soul. If I can't make money in other ways, I will charge people for me to whisper in their ear, you better lawyer up, asshole. <laughs> that line was so good. I remember that because I used it in the trailer. Like, uh -huh. I just remember that in the movie. I'm like, that is one of the best lines and one of the best deliveries of that. Like, it was just such a good delivery. I yeah. mean, he put a lot of thought, obviously, into it. Why wouldn't you? And it was very, very effective. So the person's tweet, I'm like, I get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's kind of a good side gig. Yes, the rumors are true. I am a slut for Andrew Garfield. <laughs> uh, thank you. That's so generous. I promise I will only be respectful. 95% of the reason <laughs> I love Spider-Man is because of Andrew Garfield's butt in that suit. That's Aww. harsh on uh, the rest of my performance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just happy to be of service. <laughs> just take the compliment, Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even like think of it was gonna go that direction. <laughs> like the way the way the warts came out of his mouth. I'm like, where's he going? <laughs> I know that's harsh. I was like, oh, because it's it, a compliment. Well, I thought he was gonna say that's harsh because that was actually a stunt double <laughs> in the outfit or something. It might have been. Yeah. This would not be upset if Andrew Garfield spit in my mouth. <laughs> Okay. I want Andrew Garfield to smash a laptop on my tits. Why? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what? So random. Ooh, that's good. I'm not gonna do that. I draw the line. Nope. And like, violence. Is, like pro tip, and also like boundaries. Like if anyone says I want to smash a laptop on your breasts, just say get out of my house. Andrew Garfield's spandex-clad <laughs> buttocks should be legally obliged to appear in all superhero <laughs> movies from now on. I wonder what my fee would be to bring that thickness. Tom Holland with Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield? My bussy is shaking. <laughs> oh, the bussy. Bussy shaking is, um, we know where that leads. And uh, I'm afraid it may be shaking in vain. Thank you for these thirst tweets. This was really fun and slightly disturbing and uh, occasionally arousing, so thank you. There's a movie and it's called Mainstream and my friend Gia Coppola wrote and directed it. And it's with Maya Hawke, who is wonderful. And it's with Nat Wolf, who is my boyfriend. And I got to do some really crazy stuff. I hope you guys watch and enjoy. Much love, thank you. Oh! <laughs> my favorite one was the one about his performance. Because <laughs> the person said 95% of the reason I love Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man is because of the, his butt in the suit. And it goes, that's, it makes me feel really bad because of my performance. <laughs> yeah, that's him because he's such a, you know, he's very serious about his craft. If someone was like, yeah, I, I appreciated your butt. I mean, I, I'd feel pretty flattered, I guess. I appreciate your butt. You can go home. <laughs> I'm home, bitch! <laughs> you can see yourself to the door. You, you leave. <laughs> I'm staying here now. I don't care about your performance. 
just that ass. <laughs> His reaction to it was very Andrew Garfield. That's like, he has a very unique response to things in general. Yeah. And it, here is just comedy gold. Yeah, I love it. So you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I'm Jabby Koi. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.